How's it going, Jubitarians? This is Bradley Juby, and this is Free Format Friday number 76 for those of you who are keeping track. <sighs> I'm kind of a little bit emotional right now, but uh, anyway, um, we'll start with two questions from Lauren Meyer. and uh, She first asks, if you had to give up one food, what would it be? Well, that's a hard question to answer, sweetheart. I guess if it had to be one thing, it, it would be double stuff Oreos, because I'm not giving up uh, brats or burritos or chimmies or tacos or any of the good stuff. So, but uh, I could give up double stuff Oreos. Keyword could. And her second and last question is, what would be your reaction? If you met William Wallace, well, I'd want to go fight England with William Wallace. Yeah. So, anyway. Sorry for the awkward pauses. I'm just a little bit uh, emotional right now. Because, uh. Cause, uh about to say something at the end of these questions, so. But yeah, I wouldn't mind fighting with William Wallace, fighting England with him. So, um, yeah, that'd be awesome. Okay, the next four questions come from Victor Lyons. What's up, Victor? He first asks, who would win a fight between He-Man and Hercules? I would definitely have to go with Hercules. Now, I don't know much about He-Man, but I know Hercules has the blood of the Thunder God in him. Has the blood of Zeus in his veins. So, I would think that uh, Hercules would win hands down. He's got, Zeus, he's got the blood of Zeus in his veins. Next question, who was better, Allen Iverson or Dwayne Wade? That would have to be Dwayne Wade, because Dwayne Wade has three rings, Allen Iverson has none. Although Dwayne Wade did have some help winning those rings from Shaq and LeBron, whereas uh, Allen Iverson, he really didn't have any help. But uh, ring-wise, Dwayne Wade wins hands down, so yeah. Third question... What do you prefer between swimming pools or beaches? Well, I've never been to a real beach, okay? I've been to a lake beach, but that's no beach. That's just sand on water that was created by a dam. Or that was set up by a dam. So that's no beach. When I, when I say beaches, I'm talking about... Florida, the coasts, the ocean. Never been to those. So, but I know swimming pools, and I like swimming pools. So, yeah. Not that I don't like beaches, I just never really been to one. And his last question What is the ideal place to take Lauren on a date? Well, that would be anywhere she wants to go. That's all I got to say about that, because wherever she wants to go, that's where we'll go. Anyway, well, that's the questions for Free Format Friday this week. Now, the reason why I'm not in a good mood this morning is because I found out that a classmate of mine in high school... She was in my French class for two years, or maybe three or more. Well, this week, she unfortunately killed herself. And I'm just not in a good mood about it, because it's just really sad. She was a very beautiful young lady. We were kind of alright, as far as friends goes. But, it is just sad whenever anybody commit suicide 
Cause Why is life so short? Why? I don't get it. One day your friend is with you and he or she feels on top of the world. Or so they think. The next thing, they're gone. I don't get it. I know death is part of life, but... Uh, This is why I have to enjoy the time I spend with people. And I mean really have to enjoy the time that I spend with people. Because you never know. They are not going to be there the next day. Because life is so short and tomorrow is never guaranteed. Especially if they're dealing with stuff. Like depression, anxiety... Which is, by the way, stuff that I deal with on a daily basis. And if I must be brutally honest with you guys, I struggle with suicidal ideations on my of my own. And will it ever make sense? Will it ever make any dadgum sense? I don't know. But life is just too short and too beautiful for any of this. Well, anyway, this is Bradley GB saying peace out. And I don't know.